when they drive in, they think of it as a park. And then particularly on a Saturday when, when the funeral home is very busy, a procession will drive through and, and it kind of catches them uh, off guard a little bit. They forgot, they forgot where they are. That's because Memorial Park in East Memphis is not your typical cemetery. And according to Philip Hamilton, that was the vision of its founder, E.C. Hines, back in 1925. He liked the idea of uh, everyone being the same in, in death, and uh, hence the uh, flat stones on the graves. Mr. Hines later commissioned the creation of some intriguing sculptures to beautify the grounds, such as this one called the Broken Tree Bench and the even more impressive 15-foot-tall Abraham's Oak. All created with concrete by the hands of a Mexican artist named Denicio Rodriguez during an eight-year period in the 1930s. Of course, the masterpiece of this whole project is the world's only man-made cave, the Crystal Shrine Grotto. 59-foot man-made cave carved into the side of a hill. The walls and ceilings were created with five tons of crystal, mined from the Diamond Cave in Jasper, Arkansas. Yeah. Nice work. The artist, Rodriguez, was a man of mystery. We do know he spoke no English, worked alone with only a few simple tools, and was very secretive. The story goes that Mr. Rodriguez worked out of the trunk of his car. And, and when people would drive by, he would uh, shut his trunk, hoping that they wouldn't uh, see what he was doing. He didn't want anyone to, uh, to know his secret. He didn't want his secret to get out. Where did he stay while he was here? Uh, Mr. Hines rented him an apartment in a not so good part of town. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's watching the budget. Yeah, right that's there. right, all right. <laughs> this is all cement. Looks like wood, looks like logs really, but, but, they're all, but it's all cement. Well, it, it took a lot of loads of cement to, to build yeah, something like that. Right. And even the thatch on the roof, right? Yes. The interior features 10 scenes depicting the life of Christ from birth to the ascension. While Rodriguez created most of the backdrops, the figures were added later by Memphis artists using plaster and even real wood. Look at all the grain, Alex. Look up. You see all that? Ooh. Isn't that neat? Who comes to see the grotto? Everybody. They come from all over the world. I had 50 nuns to, to, to drive up in a bus about two weeks ago, and, and they, they came in from Texas to, uh, to see the grotto, but they come from all over the world. The artist's work extends beyond the grotto itself, like this wooden, or rather concrete, bridge and the sacred cave of Machpelah, representing the storied resting place of Abraham and other biblical patriarchs. Inside what's called the Pool of Hebron, there's a fountain with images of Denicio Rodriguez's seven children. And this is what they call God's garden. And this is where we have all of our weddings here at the park. And the bride and groom will line up on the weekend and, and they'll get married here as well. Free of charge. Free of charge, that's right. <laughs> Can't beat that for yeah, a that's right. wedding venue. We know that Rodriguez made his sculptures by hand, first with metal tubing covered by rough wire mesh, followed by layers of wet concrete. However, he destroyed all clues about his special technique of making the concrete look like wood. It's a secret Rodriguez took to his grave in the mid-1950s. He actually died a pauper in, in Houston, and uh, he's buried in a pauper's grave there. We, we all hate that, but uh, that's, that's how he ended up. Leaving behind a one-of-a-kind man-made masterpiece of art and inspiration. Mm -hmm.